And now it's time for our top entertainment news, where tonight we bring you the highlights of the International Emmy Awards, while Elton John rockets towards retirement at Dodger Stadium. And Jessica Chastain stars as Tammy Wynette for a new biographical series. I am the pen of pen and teller. Greetings and salutations. The International Emmy Awards were handed out Monday in New York, honoring the best in international television. Mike Kelly accepted the award for International Emmy Directorate and Ava DuVernay accepted the Founders Award. Lou Delage received the award for Best Performance by an Actress for her role in Le Bal de Folle or The Ball of Follies. Hmm. Duke Ray Scott received the award for Best Performance by an Actor for his role in Irvine Welsh's Crime. The International Academy of Television Arts and Sciences is a membership-based organization made up of media and entertainment figures from more than 50 countries and celebrates work in all sectors of television, including the Internet and mobile technology. The Academy recognizes excellence in television produced outside the U.S., as well as American primetime programs produced in languages other than English. Forty-seven years after he took the stage at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles in a sequence studded baseball uniform as the world's biggest pop star, Elton John walked on to the same stage on Sunday night, wearing a bedazzled Dodgers bathrobe, a uniform more fitting for a 75-year-old man on the verge of retirement. The crowd of more than 50,000 roared at the moment that came in the final minutes of the final North American concert. Avatore John says will be his last. The crowd full of rocket men and rocket women, of blue jean babies and LA ladies, many John's age but plenty in their 20s and 30s and 40s, swayed and sang along as they had throughout the two-hour show during songs like Rocket Man and Tiny Dancer. Some wiped away tears. A drum machine pounded as Dua Lipa, in a black dress that contrasted with the sparkles on everyone else, came out for the first of the encores, Cold Heart, her 2021 hit with John. The concert, which streamed live on Disney+, Plus, was the last of a three-night stand at the stadium and his 103rd show in the L.A. area, he told the crowd. The Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour began in September 2018 with the first of the 300-plus scheduled dates. It was suspended in 2020 because of the COVID pandemic and resumed in 2021. <laughs> 